The clock is counting down to the first rocket launch from the UK to put satellites in orbit. The journey to space will start on a jumbo jet. Cosmic Girl once flew two and a half million passengers on more than 8,000 flights across the Atlantic. Now she carries a 21-metre rocket under her wing called Launcher One. At the moment, she's parked up at Spaceport Cornwall at Newquay Airport, but in a few hours she'll fly to a drop zone off the south coast of Ireland, where she'll do circuits of what Virgin Orbit call the racetrack, while engineers carry out final checks. Then, at 35,000 feet, the pilot will lift up the aircraft's nose to point the rocket in the right direction and release it from the wing. After a four-second freefall, the engine will fire, taking Launcher 1 to 8,000 miles an hour past Portugal and into space. At an altitude of 350 miles, it will release nine satellites, about the size of a toaster. One is testing components for a future space factory. Another will look for illegal fishing, trafficking and piracy. So why is this a big deal? Well, Britain builds more satellites than anywhere outside California, but they will no longer need to be sent as far away as New Zealand. Now they can be launched from Cornwall and from next year, spaceports on mainland Scotland and the Shetlands. Being the first in Western Europe to have a launch pad could add £3.8 billion to the economy over the next decade. But, as with every rocket launch, there is some jeopardy. This will be the fifth mission for Launcher 1. The first, a test flight, failed to reach space after the engine cut out. The rest have been successful, but there are still strict safety rules this time. There's an exclusion zone around the airport in case of an explosion, and aircraft and ships are being told to keep clear of the launch area in the Atlantic. But this is just the start, with rocket launches soon routine as Cornwall joins the space race.